Coach T from uh, Archbishop Spalding High School, the assistant coach. Um, just to talk a little bit about our season this year, uh, we 30, finished the season 30 and 3. Thought we had a remarkable season. Uh, the girls were really focused. Um, they wanted to win the championship. We set goals for ourselves at the beginning of the season, and I felt like we accomplished those goals. Um, our motto this year was, there's nothing more powerful than a made up mind. These young ladies this year made up in their mind that they wanted to be really good and they wanted to be champions. And they played each and every game like champions. Um, just looking at it, um, we played Riverdale Baptist. The last time anyone in this area beat Riverdale Baptist was Archbishop Spalding um, a couple of years back. And, our, um, and Riverdale hadn't lost a game uh, for several years on their home floor. So to go into Riverdale, um, a tough atmosphere like that, and to beat them there was just, you know, I think that was a really big um, highlight of our season. Um, also playing McDonough at the championship game and playing them, you know, twice. We split with them during the regular season um, and to play them in a championship game. Uh, for those seniors and some of those kids that had to relive that game again, um, last year at the championship game, uh, they had a 22-point lead and they lost and McDonough came back to, to beat us. But to come back and to play McDonough in a championship game and to beat them, I mean, that just, uh, you know, it's kind of like the cherry on top for us. Um, also, going into getting invited to ESPN Rise, I mean, I think it just was a phenomenal opportunity uh, to play on a national level, to play on ESPN. I mean, it was just phenomenal. It was great. Uh, the girls, I think the young ladies, um, you know, it's just been a very, very, very trying time for them as a whole. I mean, they've been a good number of them playing together since they've been eight, eight, nine years old. So, for them to finish, you know, their career on that stage, I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better than that. They here, I mean, they're they're always they're really funny, really good group of girls. Um, just from Aaliyah trying to tell us, uh, trying to re rephrase something that we said. Um, there's nothing more powerful than a made up mind. And in one aspect, she said, in one interview, she said, um, "Yeah, my man, yeah, made up your mind, and you know, you make up your mind and everything, and yeah, jelly." And so we just kind of laughed about that. Then you have um, Tori, somebody who's just relentless. You know, she's always been relentless. Uh, when the defensive end, um, you know, she sacrificed a lot offensively. So for her to, you know, really sacrifice that, you know, a lot of kids won't do that. They, you know, they want to score points. But she said she knew she would help us on the defensive end. Um, you know, she's just a great kid, and she always had her little saying like, "Thank you, babies." You know, she always said, "Thank you, babies," and everything like that. Um, Sierra just. She's just Princess, you know, Princess Sierra. She walks around like she just owns everything. But you know, she's another kid that just was relentless and you know, she was in the starting lineup sometimes, sometimes she wasn't. And you know, for her to continue to compete every day in and out and you know, continue to push her teammates is remarkable. Um, you had Camille who had battled some injuries this year, but um, you know, she kind of, this year she sacrificed a lot of her game um, just for, you know, in order to win a championship for us to be successful. Um, also, you have uh, Jade Scape. I mean, she's she got uh, player. She been player of the year um, in the Gazette and in uh, Baltimore Sun this year, and that just shows uh, goes to show. I mean, that kid. Not to take anything away from any of the other girls, but you know that kid worked extremely, extremely, extremely hard this year. And you know, at the end of the day, um, what better you know award to get than that? And also on top of that, you know, to win a championship. You know, that's all those girls want. They all made sacrifices, you know, from top to bottom, all of them made sacrifices because they just wanted to win.
and then call Kayla left. So you're running for Kayla. Kayla cannot communicate to her teammates. I'm walking out, ladies. Somebody take my position this time. You all run, down and back twice, go. Um, coach and staff, I mean, it was just, a, it was great. This was my first year with uh, Spalding, I mean, at Spalding, and it was just, it's just been phenomenal. Uh, coach Bookie, our head coach, I mean, he's just a great guy. You know, he works extremely hard to get the girls into school and help prepare them, uh, you know, day in and day out. You know, he just really cares about the girls. And, you know, sometimes you all, you will ask, uh, is this coach worried about winning games? You know, he wasn't worried about winning games. He was worried about the development of the girls at the end of the day.